Hey, it's Pete from Hemp by Nature, and today I'm going to show you two great ways to get the most CBD out of your hemp or cannabis tea. So we're in the UK where cannabis is still illegal, so I'm going to be using some of our hemp tea. This comes from EU certified hemp and is well below the THC level, so we're all good there. Our tea is made from the leaves and the flowers of the plant, and it's the strongest CBD tea that we've found at around 20 milligrams of CBD per cup. I'm going to show you two ways of making our tea. A simple fast method that's going to get you some CBD and other cannabinoids or a more advanced method that's a bit more involved and takes a little bit longer but it's going to give you a much stronger, much more potent tea. So before we start we need to know a few things about CBD. One thing is that it's not water soluble, meaning that it doesn't dissolve in water. So this isn't great since that we're making a tea designed to get as much CBD as possible. However, CBD does dissolve in oil. So what we're going to do is add some sort of fat or oil to the tea. So I'm going to use a coconut oil to carry the CBD in the tea. Let's get started with the simple method. You're going to need a kettle, a mug or a cup, and of course the hemp tea. You can pick from either our loose leaf, in which case you're going to need an infuser, or from our range of tea bags. Our range includes hibiscus, ashwagandha, which is a root that's been used for centuries as a traditional anxiety treatment, peppermint, lemongrass and ginger, plain hemp, Yerba Mate, which is the only tea that we do that contains caffeine. All of our tea bags contain about one gram of hemp. Finally, as I said earlier, you're going to need some sort of oil or fat. I'm going to be using about half a teaspoon of coconut oil. So step one, boil the kettle. Step two, place in the tea bag and pour over the hot water. Next, stir in the half teaspoon of coconut oil until it's completely melted. And finally, let it steep for about five minutes and just make sure that you're stirring it regularly to get as much CBD dissolved into the coconut oil as possible. So that's it for the quick and simple method. Now onto the more advanced one, which is designed to get as much CBD as possible into the tea. Another thing to know about hemp and cannabis is that inside the raw material, while there is CBD and THC, the psychoactive cannabinoid, there's actually not very much. There's actually a lot more CBDA and THCA, which is the acidic precursor to those cannabinoids. And what happens is through a process called decarboxylation, where the plant material is heated through burning or cooking, for example, the CBDA and the THCA turn into CBD and THC. Now we don't need to go into a lot of detail about how that happens in this video, but what we do need to know is to get as much CBD as possible into our tea, we're going to have to decarboxylate the CBDA to turn it into CBD, and then add the oil for it to dissolve into. So the easiest way to decarboxylate your material at home is probably by using your oven. We're going to set our oven to about 100 degrees and we're going to let it decarboxylate for about 100 minutes. If it doesn't go that low, just set it to its lowest setting and make sure you're checking on it regularly. You need a baking tray or something similar and a sheet of tin foil. So place your hemp into the tin foil and fold it over itself and fold in the edges really nice and tight. You want to make a tin foil parcel with the hemp evenly spread out in the middle. You're probably going to want to do a bigger batch so you don't have to keep repeating this process. Put the tin foil on the tray and place the tray in the oven and I'd say just check on it every 20 minutes or half an hour or so just to make sure everything's okay. Now that's done we can actually get on and make the tea. You're going to need a hob and a pan, I would say no more than one to two grams of hemp per cup of tea, and you're going to need a teaspoon of coconut oil as well. So you can use an infuser but I would recommend just putting the hemp straight into the water. Remember we're trying to get as much CBD as possible into this tea so by leaving it loose in the water we can stir it up and agitate it and make sure as much CBD is dissolving into that coconut oil as possible. To get rid of the bits we're going to pour it through a sieve at the end but you can also use a coffee filter if you like. Okay let's get started. Take your pan and pour in about one and a quarter cups of water. The extra is just to allow for any that's going to evaporate away. Bring the water to a simmer and stir in the coconut until it's melted. While it's simmering, add the hemp and give it a good stir and make sure for the next 10 to 20 minutes you're stirring it regularly to help get that CBD dissolved into the coconut oil. Once you're happy with the tea, pour it through a sieve or the coffee filter if you like and that's it, you're done. So that's it, I hope you found this video useful. You can find all of our hemp tea and all of our other CBD products on our website at hempbynature.co.uk. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to put them in the comments or email us at info at hempbynature.co.uk. That's it from me, have a good one.